Sorry, that's the weirdest thing to do at the season opening, but you're watching Heavy Petting All Stars. My name is Paras Tomer. Today's star is Phoebe, the foodie. She eats so much that she burps more and barks less. I can guarantee you one thing, this is going to be incredible because this season we meet the biggest stars with the coolest dogs ever. If you're a pet lover, you know what? You're watching the right show. Sorry. See, with you, I don't have to care, but now it's time for me to behave because the guest is on the show. Shweta Salve, hello. Hi, hello. You want to burp? <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe, I've met. You are epic. Yes. Obviously, this house is resonating with the sounds of burps this morning. <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, um, I don't know about that. What have you been eating? Actually, a lot of Phoebe's food, oddly enough. Really? <laughs> it's, it's beautifully delicious. It's lovely. So, who's the biggest foodie in the house? That one. That little one there. She is the biggest foodie in the yeah. house, actually. But I think I come a close second. Sure. It's not bad. It's always a good contest between the humans and the yes. pets. So, who is more attached to the uh, to the pet in the house? Will it be you or your husband? Um, well, these are my pets, but um, ever since we've been, I've gotten married and I've moved here, he's kind of done. I keep saying, I'm sure you put something in their food because they've suddenly just gone towards him. I guess it's just because he's... He's easy, he's very lenient, I'm the slight discipline, strict You're the strict mommy. One. Yeah, I mean, you know, I had two and this, um, I lost my uh, older one a couple of months ago. So when you have two brats, you need to be a little strict to keep them. So yeah, I was a strict one and, and Hermit turned out to be the Santa Claus. I don't really know how uh, to say if Phoebe is closer to me or to Shweta, but she spends a lot of time with Shweta in the day and she spends a lot of time in the morning and the evening with me. But I do feel that she feels more, I think also because I'm, I'm the newer person in the life and I'm maybe the man and Shweta is the woman, maybe she feels more comfortable or more friendlier to me and more kind of comfortable with me around. And also I think uh, she, she spent nine years with Shweta and she spent just maybe three or four years with me. So I think it's that new new kind of relationship, new kind of bond that we share. So yeah, I do feel that she has gotten more closer to me. She's a quieter one, you know, she likes to sit and chill. She's not a very um, huggy dog, like she'll come when she wants her time and when she wants her love and her petting, she'll come at that time. When she's done with her film, then she's, she'll go away. So if I go close to her face, she'll actually move away. Phoebe, come here. No, she likes your face, that's Yeah, the she'll only right? sniff. She'll come so close and she'll sniff, sniff, sniff and she'll go away. She loves the food. I want to see that in action. Really? Like, I really want to see it. I want she's going to go crazy. Con. Like, really, so I should, I should brace myself for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah? See, she, see, the only reason why she's sitting here quietly is because she knows I have one little tiny treat which I have hidden right here. So like full joy Can is happening. Can you see her now. face right there? And she's focused, okay? She won't get yeah. distracted. I say pizza, cake, chicken. Ah, stay. Maybe she does like chicken. Bark. Okay. Can you give me two barks? Two barks. One more. Good girl. Not bad. You know that why she can do all these things, right? Because she tried all of this with the husband first and she says, now the dog can do this as well. It's great. One person with food, lots of excitement. Another person with food, oh my god, Phoebe's gonna have a field day. It's Christmas for her. Phoebe, look! So much food! Yes, yes, I'm giving it to you. Come on. Up. Let's do it. Oh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whoa, Fifteen yeah. seconds. That's incredible. 
I must say something, and I think I, I don't know the. I'm sure the, most of the viewers will also know, but you should also know about this. Uh, when we were training Dino and Phoebe, I had a trainer who actually came home to train them, and I was I was really intrigued with this whole fact that how can you train dogs and how do they actually understand? So my trainer used to take four biscuits. And he used to break them into like some 20 pieces. Literally, he used to make them little this small. That tiny. That tiny. So for a dog, it really doesn't matter whether you give them that size, or you give them a that size treat, or you give them a that size treat. Every little bit of food is a treat for them. That, that's really, really cool. So I was going to ask you, see, it's almost like you have a different menu. You've got a doggy uh, bone type thing. You have a lollipop. Lolly, then you have like a little chew stick, yeah. right? So like does that a... happen with a dog? Do they just get bored of eating the same thing every day? You know, honestly, Dogs, dogs, they don't have that kind of a taste bud like us humans where you can differentiate meat and, and veggies and protein and carbs. For them, food's food. How boring is that? that? Like, why would you give the doggy the same food every day? Why are you asking me? You guys have a in-house wet, Dr. Umesh, oh, I yeah, Dr. Umesh. So why don't we just ask Dr. Umesh and... Am I not right, Dr. Umesh? Hello, this is Dr. Ramesh. Welcome to the Ask the Dog section. So, as far as the feeding behavior is concerned, the human are different to the dogs in this way. We never found the dogs getting bored eating the same food. So, scientific studies also have shown that there is no evidence that dogs seek variety, unlike cats. There are different kinds of men. There are the muscular men, there are the really stylish, fancy men. There are some men with no personality. That's, that's, that's him. Thanks. Clearly, it's like kick Paris day. Never mind that. So, my larger question was, I'm still the stylish man, by the way. If you say so. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's the kind of dog that... Does a dog define the personality of the boy or does the boy's personality define the dog that he has? When you talk about dogs, I do believe, like, if you have a... Like, really princess, you have a girl, a girly girl who wants to have a pet, They'll actually get breeds which are tinier, which are like, they're called pocket dogs, like Chihuahuas or Pekinese or smaller dogs that you can actually travel around with. Uh, men who are probably, you know, sporty and biker dudes, they like bigger dogs, like probably they'll go for an, uh, a Rottweiler or an Alsatian, a German Shepherd. Well, Hollywood may have exceptions to that rule. The suave and muscular Hugh Jackman is the parent to Peaches, a French bulldog. Not quite the size for Wolverine's pet, we would say. David Hasselhoff, the Hawk Bay Watch lifeguard and the veteran Alec Baldwin, too, are not afraid to be seen as cuddlers when it comes to their pets. While the men have gone small, the women seem to like them big. Be it Anne Hathaway with her chocolate Labrador, Eva Mendes with her Belgian Malinois, or Jennifer Aniston with her white shepherd mix. For the ladies, it is no longer about convenience but love. What's the kind of dog I should get with my zazzy personality? With you? A chihuahua, maybe? <laughs> Moving on, quickly <laughs> and <laughs> briefly. <laughs> so, um, hey, Phoebe, I like you. The thing is, when I saw Phoebe, I'm like, there's a reason why I really like her. You know why? Hmm. A, she jumps for food, which I do. B, she likes being on camera. Oh, she does. She is quite a poser. Yeah. Actually, I've, you should see some pictures that I've clicked. I'm an amateur photographer and ever since I've got this really cool phone, um, I've been going crazy clicking pictures. So I'm share, I'm going to share a lot of my pictures yeah, with y'all. It's okay. The amateur no, ones I don't it. see, I will create my own selfie. Are you challenging the king of selfies? Oh, oh. Phoebe, Come we'll put on. your mother in picture just for token, but mostly it's you and me, okay? You can be there, that's fine. Okay, Bye. are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, Shweta, you have five seconds, right? Okay. Five. Four, three, two, one. You see, now that we have the professional ones, we are looking really, really cool. Yeah, we are. Check it out. Okay. But <laughs> you don't have a professional photographer like me. Don't worry. We have somebody who does it extremely well. This one is called Pet Reporter and it is Petfolio. Elegant, handsome and suave, these pet models are ready to set the camera on fire with their majestic moods and candid expressions. Hi, yeah, I'm Ashish. So are we uh, ready for the show? I'm uh, really excited 
about the photo shoot. For that, I bought my pets here. Sit me. Sit. Pet folios we've been doing for two years now. With pets, um, uh, it's it's different uh, from uh, shooting other things. Okay. It's more challenging. First, you get to know the pet, uh, have some kind of uh, communication with the pet, so that the pet is in a comfort zone. Maya, Maya, come here. That's where my wife uh, Bhageshri comes into play, where she's uh, professionally uh, a trainer also. So, with her presence, the the pets uh, calm down, and then the natural emotions and uh, expressions come out, which uh, then becomes my work to be able to capture it. Come close. Yeah. Pet folios have been fabulous. Actually, we do the shoots in the shop as well as um, outdoors in you know the owners' gardens and things like that. So it's been a fun experience, completely different as compared to grooming or training. As a photographer, I look at uh, challenges and uh, getting art into photograph. So for me to shoot uh, pets as a pet folio, I look at uh, getting some kind of a creative uh, aspect or the side in, in, in photograph. What a picture-perfect end to a hard day of shoot. I have two words for you. Justin, Timberlake, because he sang, What goes around, comes around. It's karma. Last week we asked you a question. Now, we have the answer. Last week we asked you, which was the first animal to be sent to space? Your options were A. Cat, B. Dog, C. Rat. The correct answer is B. Dog. In 1957, Laika became the first animal launched into orbit in the Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2, paving the way for human spaceflight. <laughs> it is time for the PJ, which is Paris' joke. These are really good. Why does the gorilla have really big nostrils? Why? Because he's got really big fingers. Okay. okay. What did the fish say when it hit a wall? What? Damn. Oh, damn! <laughs> Okay. That's really good. Okay, I have another one. Why did the chicken cross the road? You no, know... No, 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 yeah, why did the chicken cross the road? Why? why? You know how to put Paris... Uh, how to make Paris shut up? How? So, well, uh, while the, he's on mute, you guys go and listen to this audio to, note of an animal and let us know what animal it is. Okay, fine. Yeah, what are you saying? Why, why did the chicken cross the road? Are you still stuck on that? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. I think it's why time to go get a break. But why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, Paris, you were saying? <laughs>